what's up everybody big herc 916 positivity motivation never settle for average go to big herc 916.shop i'm going to have all my merch over there i was representing never settle for average as a brand ambassador and i decided to buy the company so i will be having the store set up at Big Herc 916.shop along with Muscle Up Detail Spray, another company I was involved with that I decided to go ahead and buy out. So, hey man, gotta make moves for 2023. Look for the website dropping real soon. But, um, man, um, there's another plea deal in the Young Thug case. His brother, Quantavius Greer, pleaded guilty in exchange for a 10 years probation. <clears throat> um, I don't know what the other conditions are of his plea agreement. I just seen here where it said he pled, he can't have any contact with his brother. He can't be in possession of any guns. And um, he has to perform 750 hours of community service and abide by 10 p.m. to 6 a.m. So he has to be home by 10 and in the house till 6 a.m. But uh, bigger than this plea agreement is this is going to set precedent for all these other <clears throat> rap associations, groups that think they're talking code on their songs about their gang affiliation. You guys, man, these people are just twiddling their thumbs waiting to lock your black asses up. They do not care about your rap talent, your uh, taking care of the family, everything you're doing. They don't care about that. What they are listening for is <clears throat> criminal activity in your songs, tying you into a conspiracy, showing that you're continually involved in crime, which will be a CCE, continual, continuing criminal enterprise, or the Racketeering Influence Criminal Organization Act that they use for the mob. I told you a long time ago, they just gonna use it on the black hip hop rappers, you guys are targets because your music is making a lot of money and what they see the ties to is similar to what they were looking at the mob when they were expanding and growing and creating wealth. And you guys haven't figured out that when you start getting paper, you can't be associated with street bullshit. You ain't figured it out yet. They used to tell the mobsters, you know, hey man, you know, don't be out there doing this, doing that because you represent. You represent, you gotta be smarter, man. And even uh, bigger than that, most of you guys don't know shit about the law. You don't know your local um, state statutes, penal codes. You don't know anything about your uh, position when you go to court. You're lacking in every shape and form. <laughs> you, 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 you guys are running around doing things that can get you all day in prison and you're living for the moment. You're thinking short term when you should be thinking long term. You should be thinking about somehow going somewhere and maybe getting a dual citizenship, you know, learning how to get your um, your diplomatic status, you know, learning how to establish yourself so that you're not, you know, connected to things that can uh, come back to bite you in the ass, having the right legal counsel with you all the time, you know, making sure that you, you, sh you should be almost at this point 
military trained, but you're not. You're street trained and street trained and straight shit. You see, you see, everybody who's been the biggest in the streets, man, has been caught up, man. These people, they got all day long to go over and study your ass. And you just, you're just steady, just opening up the door for them. They let you get those cell phones up in there and they just listen. You think you're talking secretly? They got something up in there, man. They hear all that shit, man. And they just wait. See, that's the game, man. Let the, the fool walk into his own trap. You walk into your own trap. Because you're a fool if you think that you, you are not being watched when you're getting that kind of paper in a, in, a, in a town where the average person is getting maybe one-tenth of what you're getting and you haven't realized that, man, you got to behave differently. I'm not saying you got to start coon dancing or acting like some weird-ass house nigga. I didn't say any of that. All I'm saying is, man, get your mind right, get your game right, man, and position yourself so that you can avoid situation like this YSL. Doesn't make sense, man, to work that hard to get out of a ghetto to now be sitting in an Atlanta jail dealing with this type of bullshit. And see, I still am amazed that they haven't came with a federal superseding indictment. See, because usually when the state does a RICO, the feds come right after and they do a RICO on top of it. And when the feds do a RICO, oh, man, there's no plea deals. No plea deals in the feds, man. They're your old man. Everybody's getting 20 years. Them, them cats, when they come through, man, they are hitting you upside the head with a hammer. So I'm just trying to lace you young brothers up, man, because I've been in the federal system. And it's the state is a lot more wiggle room, a lot more negotiating. And the feds, they don't do none of that. They they come with an iron fist, man, and the deal goes keeps going up. There's no going down; it keeps keeps going up. And twenty years is they they giving that shit out like they giving out biscuits at uh, the House of Waffles somewhere, or you know at at uh, IHOP. They 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 man they giving that shit out like it ain't nothing. So you guys better wisen up, man. I keep telling you, man. I try to keep you laced up because I want to see you win, man. But um. A lot of you guys ain't, ain't thinking, man. But uh, subscribe to the channel. Share the channel, man. Leave a comment. Let me know what you think as far as um, the whole Young Thug thing. And, uh, you know, tell me, have you guys even popped open a legal book? Especially you guys who are in the streets, man. Have you popped open a legal book? Do you know what to say if you go to court? Don't look at the lawyer. Don't look at the man who, who has a title. Do you know what to say? Do you know what your rights are? That's what you need to ask yourself. Do you know? Or are you just going to sit there and play dominoes and cards and wait for them to call you to go to court and, and look stupid every time they ask you a question and you don't know what the words are? Come on, man. Start thinking, brother. Big Herc 916. <laughs>